All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is your boy C Christian coming back at you guys today with yet another video. And this is a video that I have been waiting a while to do, and I kind of played around in my head with making the video. And usually, YouTubers will start off with the ah, sigh, but not today because there's good things and there's some other stuff I want to talk about. And I wanted to try to keep this as uncut as possible. If I just start rambling on, bro, I'll cut myself no problem. But first things first, I just wanted to say thank you to you guys for over the years just supporting me. Um, I just looked at my channel and we're at 700,000 subscribers, 700,000 plus subscribers, 1.2K videos made on the channel and over 100 million like watch time or 100 million views on the channel. I think it's 100 million and eight views and plus a little bit more on the channel. And I just want to say thank you to you guys who have supported and stuck around. And I know there's probably some people that have been watching me for a while or just kind of fell off after a while because they just weren't in the sneakers or clothes anymore. And uh, I just still wanted to say thank you to anyone who supported and in general because I know that with YouTube, with the internet, with audiences, um, they can be very, very like uh, fickle is a good word for it. One, one day they love you, the next day they don't love you. One day they hate you, next day they love you. And some days they just leave you in the dust and say, fuck it, not following this guy anymore. Fuck it, I don't care. So I just wanted to say thank you to those of you that have stuck around. And I kind of wanted to just talk about me and some things that uh, I guess I've been dealing with. And I know that probably some of the people that are close to me and family and different things will watch this and, and I'm, I'm fine, guys. I'm fine, it's straight, I'll figure it out. Um, it, it, man, YouTube is 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 a crazy place to work. It's a crazy thing to deal with, and it's also like just social media in general is a really crazy place to work at. And um, just some of the things you see, some of the, the ways that people treat people, and just some of the things that that go on is just wild. But just getting back to me, um, for those who don't know, because I get this question a lot, I just kind of want to talk about myself for a moment for people that might be new and have no clue, and just you know, I never get a chance to just talk to you guys if it's not about sneakers or clothes, you know what I mean? And for those who don't know, Bullet RC, because I get this question a lot, where's the name come from? Um, there's an old movie called Bullet. Um, I'm in the RC cars, I actually just got a new one recently, and um, that's where it came from. My channel originally was about RC cars, and then I had got a pair of Air Max 95s from Foot Action for 100 bucks, and this was when I was working back at the YMCA, and uh, I made a video on those, and ever since, uh, I've still been kept, kept making videos. And I know I said I wasn't gonna cut, but these are important to the story. Um, these shoes I have right here, uh, not exactly this pair, because this is the red Penny Half Cent, but these right here, which were called, that was a cranberry, and this was the eggplant half cent. This was basically the sneaker that started my channel way back in basically late 2011. I think these came out in December of 2011 and I was basically just looking around because back then I used to work at the YMCA with kids which was an awesome job and I was looking for a review on this shoe because they were 180, 190. That's a lot of money and I wasn't sure if I wanted to spend any money on the sneaker. I looked it up, found a dude that used to be, that used to make videos a lot. His name was Sneak Geek. Some of y'all might remember him. I mean, nowadays he just uploads like Bitcoin videos, which is weird, but yeah, uh, Sneak Geeks. And um, I mean, from after that, I looked up that video and then I did my review on the Air Max 95s, uh, which was the first shoe that I ever reviewed on the channel. And um, I did pick these up shortly after that. And you know, ever since then, it was always just sneakers and clothes, sneakers and clothes, sneakers and clothes. And that's what I really based my channel and really focus on on my channel. Ever since, like I said, late 2011, I've been doing this for seven years. And um, over seven years has not been just a blow up. You know what I mean? Um, there's a lot of channels that have a lot more subscribers than me, a lot more viewers than me. Um, but one thing I always try to do is just stay humble and just stay reachable. It's very hard once you get you know, bigger and more followers to, you know, always make sure to try to comment back at people and, and like, post, and comment. It's just, it's hard because there's, time is so important. Time is money, but also time is just so important in how you utilize your time. And that's something that I definitely struggle with is just, you know, time management. Definitely one of my, you know, bigger problems for myself. And, um, I mean, you know, to the title, it kind of, it's a little, it's a little clickbait in there. But at the same time, that's one of those questions that you always ask yourself is, you know, is it time? 
You know what I mean? Like, is it time to give it up? Is it time to just quit? Like, you know, what What, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna keep doing this? And with YouTube, man, it's, it's never a certain thing. Uh, like I mentioned with people and, you know, the people really, you know, drive you and, you know, give you support and, and give you value. Yes, my hard work and all of that and the videos that I put up, yes, that's definitely a part of my, you know, success and I try to continue that success, but at the same time, without y'all, like, fuck, what the fuck am I doing? You know what I mean? And it's always an up and down with YouTube. Uh, this is, it's, it's never just secure usually. It's one of those jobs where at any moment, at any time, the shit can go downhill. Or you just might not be hot anymore. Or just people just start hating you for no reason at all. Uh, maybe you make a mistake. And in another one of those things where this video kind of goes against one of my principles with YouTube is that I don't really like to get super personal with you guys. And the only reason because a lot of times people try to use that against you when you get super personal or you try to be open with people on the internet. Listen, bro, internet is a very cutthroat place. And if you try to be open and try to just let everything out and tell people everything, a lot of times those things come back to bite you. I mean, one good example, and in my opinion, is uh, I don't know if any of y'all watched like Twitch or anything, but you had Dr. Disrespect. And I don't even want to stay on this topic too long because I'm pretty sure he's already gone through it. Um, but he had a thing where he cheated on his wife. And instead of him just kind of covering that up and, you know, pushing that to the side and not saying anything about it, he got out publicly and told his audience that this was something that happened and, you know, he made a whole video about it. Um, you know, blah, 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 blah. And that's commendable. Yes, it was a bad thing to do. But I say all I have to say is that people to this day still use that as a jab at him. You know what I mean? Like, he tried to be honest. He tried to talk with people. And uh, he tried to just, you know, give himself to his audience fully and be honest. And people use that against him. And people that were probably commenting, oh, yeah, I fuck with you real hard, Dr. Disrespect. Like, I fuck with your videos, da, 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 are the same people now just talking shit and leaving crazy ass emojis. And that's one of the reasons why I don't really make too many of these videos because my problems that I struggle with and I do have problems that I struggle with and things that I de definitely think I could be better with I don't I don't I don't like to put too much of that on the channel just because people just use it as ammo and that's one of the reasons why I I've, I've just I, I took so long to make a video like this to just talk to you guys because it's hard bro like I I know I know it doesn't seem hard you know the shoes in the background uh I just I, it just seems like I set up a camera I talk to it you know hour to edit nah. Next thing, you know, but that that really isn't it. And uh, I just want to, once again, thank you guys because it's wild to think uh, where I've gotten with this. Uh, I mean, interviewing NBA players, which is wild, really dope things that I got to do with the NBA, all-star game. I mean, if you would have asked young bull working on the YMCA in 2010, 2011, d does he think he would be doing this? Um, he would have said no. He would have said no, and I just, I, I just really, really think the genuine people out there because it's, it's so much just hate out there on the internet. So much bullshit. So many people just hating. I mean, I remember when I used to be in my parents' crib. People used to tell me, "Get out the fucking small ass attic. Get out of that room." And then I got out of the room. I'm renting my own townhouse, and now people tell me, "Oh, he's renting. He's not buying." So it, it's just, you never can get away from it. You never can get away from it. And I always try to try to like not i just try to not pay attention to all the naysayers and all the noise that comes along you know around and just all that bullshit that's in the air on the internet fuck it like just people just fucking hating for no reason not doing shit with their own lives so they gotta come and talk shit on yours i don't know man i don't know even like just the way i probably tiled this video with the whole quitting thing I mean, I have all these subscribers I know and I have people that watch me, but a lot of people that watch me don't give a fuck about me. You know what I mean? Like, they probably just care about the shoes more. So if I were to tell this, thanks for 700,000 subscribers, yeah, it's not the most interesting video, but I probably wouldn't have got a lot of views on it. I might still not get a lot of views on it because people see this clickbait. But I just wanted to take the time today to talk with you guys because... You know, first off, to say thank you, and then also, like, people ask me for giveaways. Um, there will be some giveaways on the channel soon. I just don't do a lot of giveaways because I don't fuck with that phony ass fan shit. You know what I mean? I don't fuck with the phony ass supporter shit where you get subscribers and you get followers off of giveaways, and these people don't give a fuck, bro. They don't care. They just want some free shit off you, but at the same time, I realize that me not doing them at all 
it kind of strips the giveaway from the people that do support me. And there's no real easy way to pinpoint every single person that really, really fucks with you to put a giveaway out. And um, also I can see it too, you know, some people you get them to your page and after a while, if they really like your content, they'll stay. But I mean, that's all I really have to say. Um, I really could sit here and go on for a very long time about stuff with me and you know, some of the things I struggle with. Um, I mean, I'm super self-conscious, like super duper self-conscious and now I'm getting into the bullshit that um, people are probably gonna try to use against me, but I'm, I'm just like super, whew, damn it. I did the, uh, did the fucking breath. Damn it. And that, that feeling, that just fuck, like that fucks you up and you just, you're always thinking about this, the, the negatives about yourself. And that's something that really has hindered me and hindered the channel. I feel like for some of the content that you guys asked me for, like fit videos, like, and stuff like that. Like I, I do like that stuff, but Man, getting in front of the camera, man, I, sometimes I just hate fucking taking pictures of myself. Like, I hate doing that. Because I guess I just don't like my image as it is right now, and that's something that I can definitely work on, but it's just one of those things that I, I'm just noticing more and more and more, and it just bears down. Like, taking Instagram photos, like, <sighs> that photo from London, like, the photo that I posted from London in front of, like, the Bentley or whatever, I almost didn't post that picture because I just, I didn't like how I looked in it. You know what I mean? It just wasn't a good angle, and... At the same time, I was just like, you know what, fuck it. You know, I, I gotta I gotta put out some content, you know what I mean? Like, I can't be scared of it. I can't be scared of the haters. I can't be so worried about the haters because you just get wrapped up in it. It's like they're sucking you down with them. I think I should probably just stop because I, I'm probably just rambling on at this point. Uh, but all in all, I just want y'all to know that I do appreciate you guys. I appreciate those who stick with me and um, I do, I really do humbly uh, thank y'all. And when I say much love, I mean much love. But that's it, man. Y'all know where to follow me at. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure there's other stuff I could talk on, but like I said, bro, like I like being personable, personal with you guys, but you kind of want to pump the brakes on it. So I'm going to just leave it at that. I kind of talk about some of my personal issues that I do struggle with. Um, and I just want to be real. I wanted to talk to y'all for a second, not as Bull, not as Bull RC, not as your boy B, but as Christian. That's that's the guy behind the camera. That's the guy behind Bull. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you. I'm sorry that it's not no crazy video. I know y'all want uh, some senior collection videos and stuff, which I want to do. Um, just give me some time, bro. Think about it, man. Uh, over a thousand videos, bro. Trust me. I've done, I've done the videos. I've done the work. I've been here, I'm going to continue to keep bringing y'all videos and continue to keep bringing y'all content and hopefully continue to inspire y'all. That's it. That's it, man. Much love. I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm sorry this video was so long and a whole bunch of fucking rambling, but try to keep it uncut. Peace.